Hey guys, good morning. So today I'm actually going to give you two different things. I'm going to give you a recipe and I'm going to give you a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom. So stay in tune for that. And remember, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because you're not going to miss a second of this so day. So to start off at 6.30, and I'm actually going to... I'm thawing out the strawberries for the strawberry chocolate covered strawberry. Right now I'm just thawing out some frozen strawberries so I can make this chocolate covered strawberry pancakes for breakfast. That will be the recipe of the day. This lunchbox over here. So we'll actually go ahead and get that set up, Christian and I. But right now we're going to go back to Good Atlanta. morning, my love. It's time to get up for school, honey. You're going into school today. So for the pancakes, you're going to want a cup and a half of light, light cream. Put it in the blender. A half a cup of strawberry juice. And a sweet chunk of frozen strawberries. So the only difference between making the pancakes normal and making them this way is they're going to be pouring this mixture instead of water in it. So we're going to go ahead and throw in our chocolate chips. And we're then going to let them sit on the griddle for two minutes on each side before flipping. I notice when they start when they're ready to flip because you'll see them getting thicker on the edges and you'll see them start to bubble up. So as you can see this one over here is already bubbling up. This one is this one she needs a little bit more time. I just want to point out that being a stay at home mom, you're always looking for ways to make things fun. Well I picked up this fun Freddy Oreo pancake mix and never threw it out, but my son hated it. So that might depend on your child's taste. But I would have to give this a zero just because it looks fun, but it's not the greatest taste of pancake. And you know, sometimes you should be mixing desserts with breakfast, because it doesn't always mix it, match up right. So that is my review on the Funfetti Oreo pancake. Now, the final step to making pancakes for kids is make it fun. I have a whole bunch of cookie cutters on hand, but today I use the bunny, the schoolhouse, and the pop. You guys, total mama. I just told Christian to make sure that he eats his pancakes. I just just drink his chocolate though. Yeah, I hit that point later. So it is now 7:10, and I am sharpening Christian's pencils for school to make sure that he's got plenty of sharpened pencils. These pencils here were actually a dollar ninety-seven at Walmart for like a twelve pack. I think it was. And they're Toy Story themed, which is really cute. Because you know, no child of mine's going to go sit with boring number two pencils to school. So, we are very extra in this family. Okay, right, so this is Christian's pencil case. It's actually gotten a little broken since it's been going on in school, but that's alright. So, this was $14.97 at Walmart by Vaults. Let's go and take a look inside. So, I always make sure when he goes to school that he has freshly sharpened pencils, he has his crayons here, pencil sharpener, scissors in here because I feel like it's safer in this netted part. He has these cubes he uses in school, glue stick, and a little tiny car racer over here. So that is his pencil case for school. Now let's go in and take a look inside. So there's nothing in the front pocket unless he wants to bring lunch money to school. I'll put a couple of dolls in there. On the inside he has his blanket that they need for story time. His pencil case, which I just showed you guys what's inside there. And then his folder with all of his school papers. Then on the side he has a water. I actually love these. These are so cute. The Pure Life Waters. They are adorable. So I picked up a case of those. They're little tiny 8 ounces, but they're now perfect. On this side over here, he actually has his antibacterial wipes and hand sanitizer. So like I was telling you guys before, Christian has decided that he wants to start packing his own lunch. So what so I have everything out here. I have his snacks, his chocolate milks, his Lunchables. He's going to choose what he wants. He needs to have at least one Lunchable. Turkey or ham? He's gonna go ham turkey today. No chocolate milk. 
<laughs> We're gonna pack some muffins in there. Oh, we are gonna pack a chocolate milk. I mean, a uh, um, chocolate pudding. All right, is that all you want for lunch today? You got me, uh, you have enough herbs? I can put your chocolate milk in. And your um, ice pack. No, you need to have a Lunchable. Put it up. You put the Lunchable in. Close the stove, please. Put your Lunchable in. So you want the turkey Lunchable. I'll actually show you guys in a minute what he's picked out. So is that all you want? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so just a quick glance into what Christian picked out for school lunch. We're going to do a turkey Lunchable today. We are going to do chocolate milk. I tend to pack them two, but every time I pack them two, he always comes up one, so I'm only going to pack them one this time. A chocolate pudding. And a baked goldfish. I'm not sure if I thought so you guys can see it. The multicolored goldfish. And then, of course, to keep everything cold, we have our freeze pack. Our freeze pack, ice pack, whatever you guys want to call it. And then for our pudding, we have a spoon. I'm also going to go ahead and throw in a 16 pack of napkins, because. If you have kids, you know how messy pudding can get. So just to help the teachers out a little bit, I'll have that in there. Now if you go over to my other channel, Christian's Adventures, my vlog life channel, you'll see how I managed to do this with the totes. But this is one thing that I just, I prefer to do just because it keeps, it's easier to get, take it out for him to pick out his snacks for school. So I just have a tote full of little cereal boxes, a little bites muffins, just various items that you can take for a snack for school. Pop tarts, you name it, it's in here. <laughs> it been down to the point of having sugar cookies or butter cookies. So that is that. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, guys, final glimpse of Christian's backpack. His lunch box here. We just showed you how you packed it up and what you decided to bring today. A little water over here. We actually decided to put his water bottle here with juice in it. It's the high sea orange ocean, I believe you call it. And then I have some ice cubes in there to keep it cold. So then we moved his antibacterial wipes and his hand sanitizer into his front pocket. And then on the inside, nothing has changed. It is now 7.30, so the last thing we're gonna do before we head out is we're going to give him two of his Little Critters Gummy Bites vitamins. He absolutely loves these. To the point where if he could have more than two in a day, he would. So I would definitely recommend these for kids that need vitamins, or if you just want to start giving your kids vitamins, they're just gummy bears. But they're full of vitamins. As you can see, you see it even gives you the award-winning taste, the no-no, so pretty much what's good about it. Love any essential nutrients, including vitamin A for eye support, five vi B vitamins for healthy cell support, vitamin C for immune support, vitamin D three for bone and immune support and vitamin E for antioxidant support. And then it just gives you a little note in the back. So yeah, I picked this up I'd say maybe twice a year at BJ's. Cause it lasts so long. There's 300 in here and it's like $13.99 but half the time you can find it on sale for like $10.99 with a coupon. So $13.99 minus like the $3 to $3 coupon depending on what it has. But yeah. It's really good. Dietary su supplement, USP verified. It's actually by Vitafusion. I can't recommend these enough. <laughs> I'm trying to get into this. I filmed this for you guys. But yeah, these are a big hit in our house, right, bud? Christian, scale from one to ten. How many how much do you like the vitamins? Two, no, you little stinker bug. 
You love these. Oh, two, zero, so 20. Now it's time for some mommy juice. And by mommy juice, I do mean actual juice. I don't really drink. Alright guys, so it's now 1.30 this morning, around 10 o'clock, my husband and I left. We went to lunch before he had to go to work. Then I went out and got some dressy outfits because I'm going to be working in a professional setting, I guess you could say. So I had to get the college shirts, the black dress pants, you know the deal. And then I went to Market Basket and did a little Market Basket haul. This is a tiny haul, this is not the compared to my regular hauls. It's only to cover us until I go to BJ's in two weeks. Well, I'm going to a huge haul, and you guys will see that too. So to start, these Cinnabon rolls are $6.99. I then went kind of crazy on the deli meats and forgot to pick up bulky rolls. So I'm going to text my husband and pick them up on the way home from work. So we had the Jenny O. Roasted, Tuvin Jenny o. Oven Roasted Turkey Breast for $5.60. That is a little of a pound, a pound and two ounces. I have a pound of Lando Lakes white cheese, five forty nine. A little over half pound, point fifty one ounces of a pound for three oh five Carando spiral ham. My favorite, my son's favorite. Then my husband's favorite cheese, Finlandy imported lacy Swiss, point fifty four ounces. For three dollars and twenty-three cents. That is lacy Swiss cheese. Just let you guys know. Then I got pineapples. Those so pine pineapples were a dollar twenty-nine. This is quite a big can. Twenty ounces, one pound, four ounces. This is actually to make lumpia. If you guys don't know what that is, stay tuned for my next video, which we have a recipe of it. I believe it's a Hawaiian snack, but I'm not hundred percent sure on that. Then I get this almost every time I go, and I mainly use them for when I go down to get my son off the bus, to get Christian off the bus. So it's just a small little 20 ounce ginger ale, that always 50 cents. It's a market basket version. Then Christian has been so well lately that I decided I'm going to surprise him with a $25 Roblox gift card. Every time we go to market basket, he always asks for these. It's his favorite game to play. So yeah. Then these are for the lumpia as well. I picked up two because I'm not sure how much I'm going to make. If I'm going to make more than one dish of it, I guess you could say. Or if I'm going to make two, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see when I start making them. So they're the market basket cream cheese. These were $1.69 each. And I noticed they were good to, I think, yep, October 22nd. So I can just stick that in my freezer and freeze that till I need it. The ciabatta rolls are actually on sale. I've mentioned these in past haul videos. If you guys haven't seen them, go to my channel, Christian's Adventures. It's my vlogging channel. I'm going to start adding some vlogging videos into this channel, but I'm only going to keep it for recipes. This is on sale for $1.79, usually $1.99. I get these all the time. They're great for just bread and butter. If you want to make sandwiches with them, pizzas. I honestly prefer to do like a pepperoni pizza in there, like a regular cheese and sauce. It's just the bread to sauce and cheese ratio isn't good if you do it that way. But if you make like a pepperoni pizza in there, you're good to go. Then I picked up two of these. Christian absolutely loves these. He doesn't care what character's on it. I know a lot of kids his age would be like, oh, I want Paw Patrol. Or I don't want to eat it because there's no character on it. Now, I'm actually very lucky with him where he'll eat... Let's say, I, it's a green pack. I think it's called poly, poly o string or poly string or something. But he'll eat those too. I just expect, I do like to buy the character ones. I think they're cute. So anyways, I got the Paw Patrol and the SpongeBob. We're actually going to another recipe we're going to be doing in the future. Is making homemade pizza sticks. 
like the old school ones from when I was in school. I don't know if they still do them. I'm 30 years old, so it could be something I don't do anymore. Then I picked up egg rolls. I love having these on hand because there's so many different things you can do with egg rolls. And they're vegan and they're very healthy for you. Oh, I forgot to say, the vegan roll, uh, no, I'm sorry, the cheese sticks for each $3.29. Didn't matter what character you bought. They also had Frozen and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I picked up the two that I thought Christian would prefer. The two characters that he'd be more into, Paw Patrol and Spongebob. The $2.19, it's a pound of them. I'm not sure how many get in here, but I know they do last a while in my house. Oh, so you have 20 wrappers, so 20 egg wrappers in here, egg roll wrappers. So that's good for at least two recipes. Sure if I point to this out, but obviously the Roblox card is $25. They also have 10 to $100 cards, but I prefer to get the 25 because that's what we give many time we go there. Regardless if we get the 10 to 100 card, we'll still put $25 on there, and he knows that. So I just picked that up so he knew how much was on there, and I'll insert it later and go through that jumbled mess. <laughs> you guys might see that in the video today, because it's definitely going to go on today when he sees it. So all in all, I spent $71.87. So what I did get, for what I got, it is quite expensive, but you have to understand that the cinema rolls which are great for just any type of snack, just plop them and put them in the freezer and then when you're ready, you just plop them in the microwave for 30 to 45 seconds depending on how frozen they are. One at a time I would suggest because I've done two and it doesn't come out right. So that was $6.99 and then the Roblox gift card was $25. So that alone is half of the purchase, $30. It's about half of it. I actually forgot to show you guys, I did buy the Hawaiian Punch, the one gallons. I typically buy two when I go there, just because when I go to Walmart, they don't typically have it in the orange ocean. They might have like the, I think it's like a mango, but Christian likes the orange ocean. It's the only one that he'll drink from there. And he's very picky with his drinks. He'll drink Diet Coke, this orange juice, water, or chocolate milk. So, I try to make sure I always have this on hand. I do have a full one in the fridge. But that's all I had left. And then BJ's, I haven't seen it there. If you guys have seen it at BJ's, please let me know. Because I haven't seen it at BJ's. Somebody is enjoying their Roblox with their brand new Roblox card. It's not brand new, I mean I had it before. Yeah, but I bought you a brand new one today. So we're having an afternoon snack after school. Enjoying some Roblox. Hey guys, so we're actually going to end the video here. It's 6 o'clock, and honestly, I just want to spend some time with my son. I've been so busy editing filming videos, editing and filming videos this week that we haven't had much time together. Plus, he's been in school for two days a week. So, it's Friday night, and we're just going to hang out, just the two of us, and get some quality mommy-son time. But I really do hope you guys subscribe. Hit that notification bell, so that way you get all of our videos. And give me a like if you guys want to see more videos where it's more on the day of, it's more stay-at-home mom videos, mm -hmm. or if you guys would prefer me to work more on my cooking videos, mm -hmm. let me know, because my videos are going to be influenced by you guys, so the way you guys feel will influence on what I film. Go ahead. Look I heard something before I raised my hand, like, it's so, we've been... Looking at our cooking channels, you guys love them. I mean, love them. So, from now on, we're going to do our cooking channel because I'm not going to lie when I say this. You guys love our cooking channel. Just stay hopeful and know that God has a plan.